how to use your 401k or those retirement funds to work for you when you're buying a home. I'm going to go over some suggestions about retirement funds and how it can actually integrate into your purchase and how it can make your life a lot better and simpler. Also, I'm going to go over several different articles on what's happening in the market today, all next on Real Estate Daily. Welcome, everyone. My name is Troy, and every day we go over the latest news in real estate, housing, and the mortgage market. Now, before we jump into it, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, boom, boom, boom. I wanna give you the best five minutes in this arena every single day. So let's jump right into it. First of all, we're gonna jump into a couple of news pieces here. Existing home sales fall for the 12th consecutive month in January. We know that this has been happening, why? So people come to me all the time, why, why, why? Well, we won't have any, we have no inventory. So if you have no inventory, but the buyers are out there, they're buying stuff up, but they're just not seeing exactly what they're looking for. There's just not enough houses for people. Now, the stuff that's sitting on the market are the ones that have, major rehabs and they're not low enough for investors to jump in and they're just too much work for just your regular uh, buyer most buyers today especially millennials and then some of the G's, g generation z's that are rolling in they want more of a plug and play property why is because they just didn't get you know they, they were born on the internet and the internet was kind of there it's instant and it's and any information is just right there for them when it comes to houses and and rehabbing they just don't have an idea and that unknown is really scaring them next suburban housing markets fire, faring better than cities we all we obviously know this i've said it once i said a hundred times right now if you're living in a city crime is going through the roof homelessness is going through the roof but the suburbs you don't have a lot of those issues especially in you know cer certain suburbs especially if you look here in you know california in southern california where's all the problems at yeah you know it's in la city that's where the majority of issues now the homeless are coming outside of the actual city i mean i, I went to santa monica where the average homes are in the one 1.5s and you still see the homeless everywhere because they haven't had the time to, to keep the population moving but when it's all said and done, the homeless is, is one issue and then crime out of control. You know, the LAPD here in Southern Cal in LA is just, it's just being evaporated. It's, it's disappearing. People don't want to work for the city in which they want to defund the police and then they don't want to support the police. And so crime continues to rise and who the hell wants to live like that? So the suburbs where you're having strong police departments, you have a strong government are the ones that are flourishing right now. And that's where people want to live. That's why we see this all the time. The value of your property keeps going up in suburbs and it keeps going down in the city. All right, before we jump into the next, let's do me a favor, hit that like button. We, it helps our, our rhythms here, our al algorithms with YouTube. They haven't, they haven't thrown me out yet, but I have, a, I have a feeling that sooner or later, I'm gonna get thrown out with the water and the baby and the bath and everything else. All right, so a lot of people say, hey, Troy, I got a 401k and you know what? I have to stop looking at homes because I was gonna use part of my 401k and it just got crushed last year. And I'm saying, guys, you got to know what it, it, it is. What is retirement funds? And why would you go and have somebody you have no clue who it is or a firm that have no idea what they're doing and hand them the money? Now, in the last, what, eight to 10 years, we just printed money here in the United States we literally just went, uh, our, our, the amount of money has gone up almost double in that time. And with that being said, it, all that money went right into the stock market, went right into companies to build themselves up and then make themselves look better. And then people put it in stocks. And what happened? The first year that we said, oh, we gotta hit the brakes. You know, what, what happened? The stock market took a dump and the average person last year lost right around 30% of their 401k, the retirement funds. But what you didn't, for, didn't know is two things. One is it doesn't matter regardless if you're up or you're down, the, the management company that manages your portfolio doesn't care. They get paid regardless. They don't get fired. They still have their three, three martini, you know, uh, lunches, they don't really care. Their, your funds are in their, 
custodian, they're, they're custodying them, and then they just don't really, it's not a big deal. What I tell you, and I've been telling people, self-directed IRA, now this is not financial advice, but what was the best of, of, of the stock market, the S&P 500, precious metals, crypto, what was, in 2022, what was the best performing asset class? You got it, gold, G-O-L-D, okay? How many asset managers out there looking at your 401k funds or any retirement funds put your money in gold? Nobody did because they don't have access to it. If you were to go to a 401k fund and, uh, or a, a company that took your assets and put it in precious metals or even had, you could you could actually put it in crypto if you wanted to as well. It, crypto, the, the previous four or five years, you know, Bitcoin was by far, Bitcoin and other crypto assets were by far the best performers than, than even the stock market. It's not even, it wasn't even close. It's just that it's more volatile. So when it falls, crypto falls, it falls harder than the stock market. But when it rises, it rises so much more than the S&P 500, whatever. I'm, I'm showing you here, if I were, if I today were looking at my portfolio and there's a, and I'm looking at what other people are talking about, right? So if I take a look at it, um, here, here's a perfect example. Goldman Sachs, Bank of America expect three more U.S. rate hikes this year from the Fed. Well, guess what, guys? They thought that there was only going to be one more, and all of a sudden, the data came out, and the bond market's blowing up, and you're looking at now three more. So now we're going into the middle of the year with all rate hikes. What does that mean? That means interest rates, and I've said this many times before, collateral damage for the, the rate hikes is the the housing market gets crushed because the interest rates go up, number one. Number two, credit card debt continues to rise because more and more people are making minimum payments, but because of the rate hikes in your credit card interest rate, it, you only start paying a percentage of interest. You don't even touch principal. Think about that. You, you guys, it, it just, it's becoming a complete mess. We're about ready to hit $1 trillion in credit card or unsecured debt. And now they're telling you, everyone's euphoria this year was, oh yeah, in January, it's only going to be two more rate hikes, once in February and the next one in March and we're done. Guys, it's not happening that way. It's all everything is not what it seems to be when they want you to look this way you should be looking behind you you're they're telling you to look in front it's all smoke and mirrors and when i talk to people i i say hey they say troy where do i put it in if i put it in precious metals look for look for a 401k for precious metals right and you, you could just do it for a year or two years whatever but you're absolutely more secure than if you look at and then you start looking at, well, how about something for a year? Well, there is United States one-year government bond yields. Right now, if your money's sitting in a bank, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, Citibank, I don't care what bank it is, you're getting less than half a percent. What does a bank do? 90% of all deposits that go into a bank can be reinvested, regardless if it goes into homes, if it goes into whatever the bank wants to reinvest. Not your keys not your money let's make that clear i don't care what janet yellen says she's full of beep, okay because she says that about crypto but that's exactly what it is about your money sitting in the bank yeah you could fall back and say well the fdic guess what the fdic is talking about bail ins that means taking your money for the good of the country it's already been passed by your local blue team so get ready for that Thank you very much, Nancy Pelosi, for that. One year bonds, government bonds, what is it at? It's at 5.03 right now. You're telling me that if I took my money from the bank, I, I walk in the bank and I said, take my money out of your possession and then I want a one year bond, I can make 5%. I'm making 5% of my money. That's more than the stock market lost 30% average for everyone last year. Average.
leverage loss. What do you think it's going to do? The Fed's ready to raise, I mean, well, predictions at least three more times. And after those three times, they're going to reassess it. Are they going to raise more? Or are they going to stop? But one thing they're not going to do until we see unemployment raise the six or seven or eight percent and people stop spending money, we're not seeing a pivot. A pivot only happens when they destroy the economy. The stock market gets happy for a month and they realize after the month's over that there's no one employed and there's no one buying any goods. It plummets, completely plummets on the pivot. Soft landing, I'm tired of hearing about it. There is no soft landing. All the 400 PhDs that those Fed governors have, it's all paper, excuse me, it's all toilet paper. They don't know what the hell they're doing. Jenny Yellen has no idea what they're doing. Senator Karen has no idea what they're doing. They don't. All we know is that every month we keep seeing energy go up, gas prices are going up, everything's going up. This is at least 5% of what actually is happening out there. You know, in, in inflation, it's, it's, a, it's inflation, not buster, but it will ease the inflation. And guess what? Your money's working for you and not it, they're not working for Bank of America or Wells or Chase or City. Not working for you. Think about that. Now, let's get into mortgage rates. Oh, my God. Where do I begin and end here? 6.63. It basically was flat on, on conforming. FHA, flat on FHA. Just zeros across the board. Jumbo went up a little bit. All I know right now is a lot of mortgage companies are feeling the risk that's coming in. They know that all these predictions about future Fed rate hikes is now, now a thing of the past. They see that it's not gonna be one and done now. Uh, everyone's predicting two, three more hikes minimum that, that will get over 5%. And if you really wanna know what the Fed is doing, follow the two-year bond, because that's where the Fed is at. The Fed is trying to beat the two-year bond and it keeps going up. Right now, the two-year bond is at 5.0, excuse me, it's at 4.87% and rising. And so they're trying to get above it. So three more rate hikes will get you into the fives, okay? So that's where I'm talking about. I'm gonna do, uh, on our other social medias, I'm gonna go over some of this in, the, in today and tomorrow, but it's very important, self-directed IRAs look into it it's not financial advice but it's time for you to take your money the amount the most amount of money you have is in retirement funds as a u.s citizen and stop putting it stop thinking that social security is going to even be around they're borrowing against it they've been borrowing against it it's not a red team issue it's not a blue team issue it's a government team issue they don't care about your future they only care about their pocketbooks it's been proven over and over. Well, guys, thank you very much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. I will be back tomorrow on Friday. I'm going to give you the best five minutes in real estate, maybe 10 at this time. You guys take care. See you tomorrow.